It's 3.30 on Wednesday morning, the Wednesday before the start of the Open. And for the championship links here at Carnoustie to look as good as it does, it takes a lot of hard work by the green keeping team. And I've come to join them to see exactly what they do. Craig, there's, um, there's nobody left, there's only me. I suppose you'll have to come with me. Okay. You want to take this? Oh, yes, please. Just for the day. Just, you've got to give this back. Yes. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> What an operation you have here. It's it's phenomenal the work goes on. How many people have you actually got out in the links? We've just under 50 guys here. Um, they do they do do an incredible job. You know, they, they keep things going. Uh, we're keeping ahead of the RNA and the STRI. We're, 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 um, yeah, we're, we're getting through all the work this morning. 50, I think there's about 300 people out here. <laughs> they work so fast, they move. Green, gone, move, another one, back to this one, back to that one. And they've got their designated greens, the same cutters are on sort of 16, 17, 18 every day, so they get to know the greens well. Yeah, they get to know what angle they're cutting at, what, you know, what's best. Um, yeah, and they, it's cutting with another partner, you know, you have to know him and what way he cuts and, and things like that. Yeah, they're, they're all, the whole team, they're, they're well gelled together, you know, we've got a, a really good team here. You've seen lines of people walking fairways. What are those guys doing? Uh, so we've got guys divoting as well. They're all kind of, I'll say, retired guys. They'll come in at nights now and just divot at nights rather than in the mornings. Um, what, just, why is that? Will it, just, a little bit of growth or a little bit of low, low to settle? It's just allowed to settle and just so they're kind of out of the way. Out of the way of the moors, so the moors can just yeah. bash on. And what is going in there? Uh, it's just a little bit of compost and soil and the sand mixed together and a little bit of seed. And if you do end up in a divot, which will happen in some places, some of the shallows on the course, what will the players think about playing off that then? Will, it should will be, it be all right, yeah. it'll be the same, yeah. It's a little bit of firmness to it. It's not, it's not um, you should be able to go through it. Yeah, it should be okay. It's not just the course you have to look after as well then? No, it's, um, well, this year we're, uh, we were given the environmental golf course of the year. Uh, so we do a lot of work just looking after the, the golf course and out with, you know, we try to encourage wildflowers where in the past we'd maybe be spraying a wildflower would be classed as a weed, but we're trying to, to bring some of these wildflowers back. So there's orchids, um, there's bird's foot trefoil, um, kidney vetch, which is very good for mm. small blue butterfly, which we're trying to encourage back as well. Greenside at 18, you've let me loose in a bunker with a rake. They're not the rakes that the guys are using out there at the moment, they're the ones out there on Championship Day, but you can give me a little insight into how you maintain the bunkers, how you, how you look after them, how you prep them for start of play. Well, the bunkers are, are like the greens and the fairways and tees. We like to take pride in the bunkers as well, so we do a lot of strumming, fly mowing the faces, keeping on top of them. But it's the bunker raking as well. You don't want the, the player to have a poor lie when, once he comes into the bunker. You want to be consistent all over the bunkers, 112 on the course. <laughs> I only want you to rake one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I've got all morning, but I don't think I'll be able to do 112 of them. Uh, what about the work you did? I know you worked on a lot of them. I think about 80 of the bunkers pre-open as well. What did you do to them then? That's right. Um, We've, we've rebuilt them, um, so it's you could probably see in here the stack sods of turf on top of each other. Yeah. Uh, pack behind it, um, just make sure it's at the right angle going up. Um, so we did, yeah, we did 87 this year. Um, we had a bunker camp, which we did with uh, some of the students at Elmwood College in Cooper. It was a great help. So. Yeah, it was good. More, more people to help the better, you know, because it's a huge operation. It's it? a huge operation. Uh, we managed to get it all done before the Beast of the East came in. <laughs> yeah, it was good. And during championship days then, who patrols the bunkers? You know, whose responsibility is it to, to maintain them? A player's been in, he's played his shot onto 18. Sometimes you see the caddy get in there and do it, or have you got people out here as well? Well, we rake them ourselves in the morning 
and then with each match there's a bunker raker uh, provided by Bigger. Uh, it's the British and International Greenkeepers Association. Uh, so they get one of these and they're just touching up any little marks that are in the bunkers. Any debris that's in a bunker, they just throw that out, take care of that, which is pretty good. Craig, we've seen some of the guys cut a hole on the 18th on the Budden course, you know, just to see what the process is like. You're not moving holes today because it's another practice day, but the Arne are out here as well. They're testing potential pin positions or having a look at the greens. What are they doing? Yeah, so they're looking at potential pin positions over the next few days. Um, they'll look at different bits, try putting, putting on different areas just to see how it is, how it's performing, things like that. Yeah, this is just one of the first stages of the next stage, which is yeah. choosing the pin tomorrow yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah. And you work closely with the RNA, obviously. I've seen Grant Moyer out there. I interviewed Grant at uh, the start of the week. It's a, it's a process that's on constant flow between, constant dialogue between you both. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not just today and this week, you know, it's been over years, you know, we're always in con mm. constant contact with the RNA, so whether it be greens or whether it be changes to course setup, things like that. Um, yeah, new bunkers, if we have to add new bunkers, new tees, things like that, you know, it's, uh, we're always in contact with them. How's Grant's putting? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> 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 Hi, Grant. <laughs> the infrastructure of the Open, you've got to come to an Open venue to really realise how big the infrastructure is. You've got grandstands all over the place, you've, you've got stands, and of course you've got three courses here. You, you've got the, uh, the Burnside, the Budden. Yeah. They will be played on on the Monday following the Championship. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's not just a case of getting the tournament over and put your feet up, we've got golf on Monday as well, on the championship. And what time will they be teeing off? They're teeing off just before six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Tuesday, it's half past six in the morning. So yeah, it's um, okay. We could have a little bit of downtime on Sunday night, but we still have golf on the Monday and, and there, there after that, you know, it's, you just keep going. You've got to find time for you and your team to have a beer somewhere on Sunday night, surely. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll find time to do that as well, yeah. And then I need to find time to go home to the wife and kids as well. <laughs> They'll be missing me. Yeah, Craig, thank you very much for your time this morning. It's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, it's been good. <laughs>